Fort Collins is known for some of the cleanest air in the country, but recent figures released by the EPA show the level of pollution is rising. Lenora Boring, director of the National Center for Vehicle Emissions Control and Safety, is concerned that our driving habits may be having a negative impact on our environment. One of the reasons air quality is bad now, even though we have cleaner cars, is because our VMT, vehicle miles traveled, has increased. After canceling the same program three years ago, the city of Fort Collins recently reinstated mandatory emissions testing on all vehicles. Drivers are now required to pay a $25 fee at testing facilities like these to ensure their vehicle is running cleanly. CSU students have mixed opinions about the new ordinance and its effectiveness. If we don't take care of it now inch by inch, then we're just going to die. So yeah, I think that's important and I think that's a good first step. Honestly, I don't think the air pollution is bad enough for me to get my car tested. Still, the city maintains that regulating CO2 emissions is the first step in cleaning up our air. Fort Collins in the whole Northern Front Range is right on the borderline for non-compliance. In other words, they almost exceed what the minimum standard is. Boren stresses that the residents of Fort Collins can do their part by taking a few simple actions. We have to do a lot of things. The biggest things the public can do is keep their cars well maintained. They're not going to pollute and it's going to save them money because it, they're more efficient. They burn the fuel much more efficiently that way. This has been John Fenton and Aaron Fabus, CTV News.